Good morning, everybody. It's John from Veganism Kills. Sunday, February 13th, 7.52 a.m. On today's video, we're going to see if veganism made any advancement in the past 20 years to actually verify their claim that the vegan diet is 100% healthy for all stages of life. The first point we're going to pull the CDC's report that Brian Carnell was so kind to paste on his webpage in 2003. And you could read from the CDC's weekly report uh, from Morbidity and Mortality Weekly Report from 2001 in August. You vegans really love the month of August for some reason. Uh, you can read the case, two cases where two children failed to thrive on the vegan diet. Even though their parents, one of them was taking supplements, it didn't work. Okay? Both, both parents were taking supplements and being nursed. And they still suffered brain damage. They suffered for it. And yet, even after 20 years, you think the vegans would have solved that problem. Now let's go to the, another morbidity and mortality weekly report. This one is talking about since August 2020 to February 2021. And yet now we're also talking about vitamin D deficient rickets, how the homemade infant formulas and vegan diet might be deficient in essential vitamins and nutrients as been reported for other formulas. So it's, you, if you'll notice, it's plural, vitamins, not vitamin, not just B12, and nutrients. And they have cases spread across three states. So over the course of 20 years, vegans are telling you with these results that the vegan diet is healthy for all stages of life. And the doctors who are actually seeing these incidents on a first-hand basis are telling you otherwise. And not only the regular doctors, in the in the, uh, you know in the hospitals, we also got doctors that are the purveyors of veganism have something to say about this, and let's hear what they have to say. Did a vegan diet kill the baby? Why? Yes, it did. A non B twelve fortified vegan diet killed that little girl. And she's not the first, and if vegans don't get their act together and get their B12, she will not be the last. Now, vegans have accused us of editing that video, but it's not. And they played it to the end, okay? They're totally nonsensical, and they're causing damage. And it hasn't changed since 2001. Except now the CDC is going to keep posting out warnings, which most vegans will ignore. The FDA is taking vegan formulas off the shelf for children. And, of course, there's been cases where vegans spouting out misinformation has actually killed adults by telling them that if they're vegan, they won't get COVID. So they don't, they don't get to take the shot. And as a result, some people have died. And that's in my last video. Vegan, stop the cat. I know it's your only way to make money, but killing people in the process? Not good. Not ethical. What, what's going to happen is that sooner or later, somebody's going to sue you back into the Stone Age. And then you're not going to know where your next dollar is coming from. And you know what? 
You deserve it. And on that note, I'm out of here.